Hello, everyone. My name is Sandra Hudson. If you do not know me, I'm going to give you a short introduction. I'm a wife, a mom, a blogger, a serial entrepreneur, and I just really love to inspire and empower other women, specifically those in small business or those wanting to start a, a blog or any other kind of business venture. Um, and I like to use my skill set and my passion to help you make that happen. So thank you for joining in today. I am going to read over the comments and answer those after this um, video segment so that I don't lose my train of thought. And so I make sure that everything has a flow and I'm making sense because I can derail <laughs> quite easily. So let's go ahead and dive in. The topic of this live video is 10 reasons why you need a blog. And I'm going to kind of go through these 10 bullet points very quickly and give you my version of the 10 reasons why you need it. So backstory, I started a blog probably about three years ago on a, another platform. I paid for a custom site. It was beautiful. It was not WordPress. It was much easier on the front end to navigate and put up my content and all that. But I kind of hit a stumbling block. Um, and in that, it was just really hard for me to grow. It was hard for me. I was, I was doing the same thing I'm doing now. I felt like I was doing my keyword research and I was putting out the content that people were wanting to read, but they couldn't find me. It was really hard to monetize. You couldn't customize the platform. Um, if I had known now what I knew then, I would have never wasted that money and gone that route. So what I am doing now is helping and coaching other people not make the same mistakes as I did. And I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes version of how you can start a successful blog from day one. So you don't have to make the same mistakes as I did. So I switched over to WordPress about a year and a half ago. And obviously, you know, COVID had happened. Kids were at home. Spouse was at home trying to juggle life and all those types of things. My blog was kind of put on the back burner. You know, we were all just trying to survive, trying to stay healthy, um, trying to make sure my kids were doing well in school, which was very, very hard. Um, and so in doing that, I've really just started diving back into my blog the last few months. And I have set goals for myself because I want to monetize that blog and turn it into a stream of income. So we're going to talk more about that in a minute. So did you know that the average millionaire in the world has seven streams of income? So that could be from your regular eight to five job. Um, it can be a part time side hustle. If you have a network marketing company or if you are Etsy shop owner, any of those things. Um, but streams of revenue, streams of income is really where it is at. So you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket, if that makes sense. So. This is one reason why I'm so passionate about blogging because it doesn't matter if you are doing this to help your business grow, if you're doing it to start a business, to just start a blog. Um, you can be very successful and very profitable if you have a few of the basic steps from the get-go. So let's go ahead and dive in. So just to give you a, a little bit of caveat about what I'm talking about, I invested in a coach myself and I invested in a course um, and that is really how I got the framework. I realized that WordPress, while it's more intimidating on the front end, that once you know it, it's just there's a reason why it's the number one blog and you need um, WordPress.org, not .com because you do not own your content and you cannot customize it as much. You need WordPress.org to be it fully yours along with a domain, but we're going to get to that. So because of my blog, I have been able to personally add hundreds of new customers who have ordered from me um, that otherwise would have never found me. I've added over 20 team members who have signed up with me. 
I have several posts that are currently ranking on page one on Google. So I'm getting that monthly site traffic. And all of these are goals that are leading up to me being able to fully monetize my blog. And so I'm so excited about that. So let me ask you this question. We're on Facebook right now. How many of you use your Facebook for business? Um, and if so, maybe you had a really awesome live video. Maybe you had a really um, viral post that a lot of people commented on or shared it. But what happens that next day? It goes away. <laughs> I mean, like it doesn't go into like a black hole or anything. But eventually on Facebook and on Instagram and on TikTok, eventually that algorithm stop showing that post or that video to people. So really the time, the, the lifeline of that post or video is very, very short. So one of the key reasons why you need a blog is you're building searchable content. That is what it is all about. I don't know about you, but I'm about being very efficient. I want to work smarter, not harder. So if you can learn these skills, start your blog. If you have searchable content for things that people are actually looking for, which is where your keyword research comes in, people are going to find you. You're going to connect with those people. And it's like a um, spiral effect, if that makes sense. So um, let's go ahead. Let me look at my notes here. So the number one reason, kind of like what we're talking about, is SEO. Have you ever heard that abbreviation? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And that is basically, um, I Google things all the time. If I don't know something, I will just input a question into Google because I have to figure it out. Um, some of it's really dumb information, but sometimes it's just something that I need to know. Um, and that's how we look for information, right? People do it on Google. People do it on Pinterest. People do it on YouTube. Those are all search engines. So people are going there to consume content to learn something about what they're looking for. So instead of you doing a live video or a post on Facebook that is really awesome, that in a week, you're probably not going to get any more notifications from it because other posts have happened, other photos have happened, other videos have happened, and eventually people just don't get the notifications anymore, so they don't see that post. So when you can SEO a blog post, you're picking keywords and phrases and tags that people are already searching for, and if you do a good job with that, then your content is one of the first ones that pop up. So. If you can get on page one of Google, it is huge because you will see, I saw a really, really big bump in my blog traffic when I look at my anal analytics and I think I have like two, no, I have three posts that are now on page one of Google and it's been really, really amazing. So reason number one, SEO, your content searchable. It does not go away. Reason number two, you can drive traffic to your site. So let's say that um, if you're any other type of coach, maybe you're a fitness or a nutrition coach, and you have people that ask you the same question all the time. Well, you know, if you're busy and going in a hundred different directions and you have a family or another job or anything like that, you should create a piece of content that answers that very common question. And then when somebody asks you, you can point them back to that blog article that you have wrote or created. Um, I do that all the time because if people are asking you over and over and over the same thing, you need to have a resource. And if you can create your own resource with your own blog, that is amazing. So uh, that was reason number two. Number three, you have a voice. I love blogging. I started it as a hobby, wasn't really sure what I wanted to talk about, how I wanted to talk about it. I just know that I, it's very, I've always journaled and it's very therapeutic to put your thoughts out there. Um, but then as I was going through the process and going with my own coach, I realized that I do want to help other women 
grow their small business and give them the tips and strategies that I have learned along the way so that you can do it in a much faster scale than I did myself. So you have your own voice. You are uniquely you. Um, and what it does, I'm going to go to number four. When you have a blog, you are automatically looked at as the expert or the leader about that subject. And it can be, you can blog about anything. You can blog about parenting, a mom blog. You can blog about couponing, saving money. Those are huge and budgeting. You can blog about travel and destinations and all those types of things. Whatever you're passionate about, take that passion, take that message and share it because you are going to find your people. And when you do that, it is so rewarding to help someone else that's dealing with the same problem or struggle, or maybe they just need a little inspiration. You can give that to them just by you being you and sharing your passions. And I love that, which leads to number five, find your tribe. That's what we're talking about. When you figure out what you want to blog about and you stick to that theme the people that keep coming back that return readers, they're going to really build a connection with you. And so that is amazing. You're going to be able to find your ideal client or your ideal audience. And that, like I have met people through blogging that I would have never met before. And they're amazing people. And I talk to them some of them on a daily basis, some of them on a weekly basis. It's just really, really cool how something like that can bring other like-minded individuals into your life. Number six, you can create an online portfolio. So let's say maybe you're a photographer. Um, I don't know about you, but if I've ever hired somebody to do a service for me, I always go to their website and check out their samples of work. I mean, I feel like most people do that because if you're going to spend your hard earned money on somebody to photograph a wedding, you want to make sure that you like their style and that you, that you're going to get your value for your money. Right? So by having an online portfolio, um, maybe you're a um, caterer showcase your food items, your recipes, all that. Um, when people can see the pictures, and the testimonials and all those types of things that automatically makes you more credible. It makes you professional. Um, and once again, it is one resource that you can work on, put out there in a blog post and keep referring people to it. Um, work smarter, not harder. Number seven, you can grow your email list. So I'm in network marketing as well. Um, and sometimes uh, there was a, a time recently that Facebook was, completely down. The app didn't work for a couple of days. And there are some people who only use Facebook for business. They don't use any other social media platforms. They don't do anything in person. So what happens if that app completely crashes or if it goes away? Like your business is dead. You have to have diversity. You have to um, do those things. And the benefit of growing an email list, like there are some email service providers that you can sign up and start for free if you don't have very many subscribers. Um, but you also own your email list. So if I, I send out monthly newsletters um, to people um, that are on that email list, I like to share things to make their life better. I want them to smile when they get my email newsletter. Um, and all those are types of things that I utilize my email list for. And it's just another touch point. You have to have multiple touch points sometimes for people to sign up with you as a client or to become a customer because it's usually on very rare circumstances can you do one post and have somebody order a product. You have to nurture your relationship, facilitate it, and those touch points are key. Um, number eight, you get to toot your own horn. And what I mean by that is it, don't look at it as a bragging type of a thing, but really look at it like if you have earned an award, if you have learned a new skill, if you um, 
maybe you are into gardening and you've learned how to do something that keeps bugs away from your plants and you showcase your how big your tomato plants have grown or something like that. Um, you can brag about that because if you're excited about it, other people who are into gardening and are having the same problem are going to be super excited about it too. So don't be afraid to give yourself some accolades, you know. Number nine inspire this is a huge one for me because i feel like there is so much negativity out there in the world that if i can use my personality my skill set to inspire others um like i said to make them smile make their day better just to be um you know somebody there for them that they look forward to reading my content or seeing my videos that is worth it to me like it's not always about money um, it's more about how you make people feel and no matter what you blog about you can inspire people with all kinds of things with um, you know your affirmations if you're in the beauty industry makeup and skincare to feel more beautiful inside and out um, boutiques clothing hairstylists um, self-care all of those things you can use really any avenue, anything that you're passionate about to inspire others to leave, to live a more fulfilling and purposeful life. And last but not least, number 10, the reason you should blog is to make money. It's another stream of income that you can have coming in, whether you're doing it full time or part time. Um, people don't understand. I know when I first started, I'm like, how are you going to make money? with a blog like it seems so weird but um but you can you can do it and i'm in the process of doing it right now um but there are so many things that you can utilize with a blog to make extra money i feel like one of the most common things is um you know advertising a lot of people you see ads and stuff on there i try to do a minimal amount of those because i know as a reader i don't want it to just come completely bombard the pages um, but a lot of people have you ever heard of affiliate marketing their affiliate marketing is huge and this is what a lot of content creators bloggers um, people utilize affiliate marketing and plug that into their blogs and that is one way that you can join some networks and start promoting products that coincide with what you're talking about so if you're into cooking and doing meals or you're a caterer or something, you could share your favorite kitchen finds, your favorite kitchen gadgets. Um, you can join Amazon Associates and earn a commission based on referrals from people that click on your affiliate link. So that is really cool. So you can also sell physical products. It can be homemade products that you make like within an Etsy shop. Um, I actually just opened an Etsy shop last month and I'm also network marketing. So I sell makeup, skincare and beauty type products. So I also mention those within my blog. So that's another way that you can plug it and make money from it. Um, you can sell, um, you know, there are tons of ways that you can hook it up into like a Shopify or WooCommerce if you have a boutique or anything like that that you want to sell but you need a blog because going back to number one if you SEO it more only more people are gonna see it people are gonna share it um, and it's just going to grow that circle that's gonna see your information so if any of this is sounding appealing to you I have a very special free offer that I have just released and I want to share it with you so I have created the ultimate bloggers checklist I printed this out. It is a printable, but basically I needed someone to hold my hand and tell me what I should do from point A to point B to get my blog launched because there's a hundred different ways that you can do it, but sometimes all too much information overwhelms me and I don't do anything. So I really wanted to simplify this and help you out. So you can go through step by step. There is um, a checklist. I'll show you the sections so you can see if you like it. About planning your blog. I'm going to tell you exactly how to set up your WordPress blog site. 
These are the pages that you need to have in your blog to be legal because um, we want to do everything by the book and there are certain pages that you have to have on your blog. Um, it will tell you, I'm telling you how to add links to your blog, a little snippet of email marketing, how to connect your website. Over here, post planning, post writing, post formatting, the must have blog components. Website SEO is probably the biggest thing with blogs. Um, in your images that you use, site speed, an SLSL certificate, um, social sharing, Pinterest, all of these I will definitely, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I will go over these in more detail, but it's just too much. I want to give you a synopsis. And then I have a bunch of additional resources. Some of these are free courses. Some of them are paid courses that I have done or they are friends that I highly recommend that offer these because there's nothing worse than paying and investing money. I don't care if it's $5 into something that you get nothing out of it in return. So I will only recommend products I have personally used or tried to my audience because that's just the right thing to do. So if you want a copy of this, comment below. I'll be glad to send it over to you. It is completely free, but it will get you started with your blog. So I hope that you found that helpful. If you have any friends, family, or anybody like that, that is also maybe interested in just getting information about blogging, please share it with them. I would greatly appreciate it. And I have a free coaching group on Facebook as well if you're not in it. So drop a comment below, message me. I can get you plugged in. And I just want to be a sounding board and help you make your blogging dreams come true just like myself. So I thank you very much for being here. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.